All right. I'm here doing another little uh, TNT 135 mod for the front forks. Uh, pretty easy mod. Uh, maybe take you a half hour. Not too long at all. Um, let me show you what I did with mine. And uh, you guys could go and do this yourself with some, some simple tools. And you can do it in your garage, your carport, uh, your, your, your apartment parking place. Uh, it, it, it's super easy. So let me show you what I got. So right here. We have some 85-140 gear oil. The thicker the better, but you don't have to use 85-140. You can use 50 weight gear oil, whatever you want to use. Just something a little bit thicker than the water that they put inside the forks. So what I did is I, you keep these two right here tight. Go ahead and loosen this one. Loosen this bolt up here. Loosen it just a little bit, just so you can get it to where you can move it with your fingers. Don't take it all the way off, just loosen it. Once this is loose and this is loose, come down here, take these two off. Obviously, you'll have to take the fender off, take the front wheel off, throw a jack under the front of the motor right here. Use your kickstand, the jack, and the rear wheels, your three points. Get the front, front tire to come off the ground. Loosen your axle, get that all off, take your brake caliper. Once all that's gone and you just have fork tubes, finish unscrewing these, slide the fork tube out. Finish taking the rest of this off. Just unscrew it with your finger. By that time, it should be loose enough. It's not gonna pop way up or do anything crazy. It's just gonna pop up a little bit. Go ahead and turn the fork upside down. Dump it into a bucket. It's about 220, give or take five cc's either way, depending on how clean you get the inside of that fork and how much fluid you get out. Uh, go ahead and use this little spigot right here. Go ahead and put in 220, 225 cc's. Um, you can kind of go on the side here. If you don't have a ratio right, you can use that. But uh, if you have a ratio right, even better. 220, 225, put it in. Go ahead, screw this back on. Hold this with your hand, screw this back on. Once that's done with your hand, hand tight, Slide it back up into the fork tubes, get it the way you want it, the height you need up here. I run them level. You can run a little extra, whatever you want for your height on your front end. Tighten these two bolts here. Then once you get up here, go ahead and tighten this down. Then tighten your pinch bolt. Don't ever tighten this pinch bolt and then try to tighten this. What happens is the fork clamps it down. It puts pressure on the threads and it's hard for this to turn. So always leave this loose when you're using this bolt right here, the, 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 the top of the fork tubes. Make sure that you leave this loose. If you leave this tight and try to mess with this, you could either mar the top of this, strip out the threads, just, just leave this loose. These two bolts here will hold everything in place while you play with the top up here. Go ahead and tighten the rest of this, tighten this. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Put your front wheel back on, your front fender back on, your brake caliper back on, take your jack out and uh, go ride it. It's it's 100% better. It's night and day feel. No more bottoming out. No more uh, spongy feel. Uh, it's just a lot better setup. All right, go, go ahead and subscribe to my uh, channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, go ahead and uh, throw some comments on there. Or maybe go do it and throw some comments after you've gone and, and, and wrote it and tell people how it feels. And uh, this just right here, all this is is I just wrapped the forks with some carbon uh, vinyl that I got. It's super easy also. Um, I can do another little uh, video on that coming up pretty shortly. But uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, get out there and ride your TNTs. Go have some fun. Thank you.